Celebrities are people too, and their struggles often take place far from the cameras, despite the glamorous exterior. I was in that hospital for five months and, you know, escaped death really narrowly. Hollywood celebrities are not immune to the dark side of drug misuse, often making headlines for drug-fueled escapades and public meltdowns. Join us as we explore the untold stories of the seven worst drug addicts in Hollywood history. T1 Robert Downey Jr., the superstar we all know and love has a tragic history due to his drug addiction. Born in 1965, Robert Downey Jr., or RDJ, made his big screen debut at the age of five, appearing in one of his father's films. While poised to have an incredible future in the spotlight, he was unfortunately introduced to drugs at an early age by some reports as early as six years old. And within a few years, he was addicted. In 1997, RGJ was arrested and prosecuted for various crimes. His addiction to drugs even cost him a seven-year relationship. And by the time he was out of jail, he had alienated his family, had no money, and his spouse had left him. Fast forward to 2001, when he met his future wife, Susan Nicole Levin, now Susan Nicole Downey, whom he credits with helping him with his former drug and um, alcohol habits and also revitalizing his career. In 2007, he was cast as Iron Man and the rest is history. Robert Dean Jr. is now one of the most highly paid actors in the world with a net worth of a whopping $250 million. Two, Demi Lovato. The acclaimed singer with a strong connection to younger audiences has displayed remarkable courage and resilience by openly sharing her struggles with addiction and mental health. Demi's openness is a refreshing departure in an industry characterized by secrecy. In a 2013 report by the Huffington Post, Demi discussed her past struggles with drugs and the moment she realized she needed to seek help. I couldn't go 30 minutes to an hour without cocaine, and I would bring it on airplanes, she revealed. Following this realization, Demi achieved nearly six years of sobriety. However, in 2018, she relapsed and experienced a heroin overdose laced with fentanyl. In a Call Her Daddy podcast, the star opened up more about her struggles and revealed that she started experimenting with drugs and alcohol at the age of 12 after getting into a car accident. It was my first time ever going into a stall or something, and I felt like I had flu. I was on, I was on the couch for a week, just watching TV, sleeping. It was not fun. I had no energy because I couldn't have coke. Like, yeah, just sleeping. She was prescribed opiates, and that's how she got hooked. What made it worse was that she was also drinking alcohol at that time as an escape from bullying. Demi's candid discussions about personal challenges reflect her strength and determination and confronting her demons. Her willingness to share her experiences has offered solace and guidance to others facing similar hardships. Three, Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck is a two-time Grammy-winning actor. His father struggled with alcohol abuse, which impacted Affleck's life up into adulthood. Affleck stopped drinking for a few years before attempting to drink in moderation. He stated, I was sober for a couple of years, and then I thought, you know, I want to just drink like a normal person, and I want to have wine at dinner. And I was able to, for about eight years, Affleck's struggle with alcohol eventually led to a difficult divorce in 2018. He's had since been in the recovery process. One thing that keeps him going is being sober for his children. Four, Bradley Cooper. I wouldn't have been able to have access to myself or other people or even been able to take in other people. Or Bradley Cooper is famous for his roles in The Hangover and A Star Is Born. Cooper struggled with alcohol abuse, which progressively worsened during his rise to fame. Cooper started recovery in 2004 and has been sober for nearly 15 years. He continues to maintain sober through roles that portrayed characters struggling with substance use disorder. Then discussing one of these roles, he stated, anytime you're trying to tell the truth, you need to go to places and use things that have happened to you. Cooper tends to not open up about his struggles with alcohol in his past but he has discussed it a few times in interviews. Five, Macaulay Culkin. Macaulay Culkin, the American actor and former child star famous for Home Alone, encountered a turbulent journey as he navigated fame from a young age. Despite his early success, Macaulay's family dynamics were far from stable. His parents, who never married, separated during his teenage years. Macaulay, feeling distrustful about their intentions toward his wealth, valued at around 20 million, took legal action at just 15. He filed a lawsuit to prevent them from managing his trust money. The media caught wind of this dramatic move, unveiling a legal strategy.
struggle that included his divorce from his parents. Macaulay faced public scrutiny for his fall from grace marked by legal issues and arrest in drug use. Um, in 2004, at the age of 24, he made global headlines when he was accused of possessing controlled narcotics and marijuana without a prescription. This led to a brief imprisonment with a subsequent release on a 4-0 bond. In 2012, concerns about his well-being surfaced as images of a thin and weak Culkin holding an energy drink circulated. However, he transformed positively, finding love with fellow child star Brenda Song. Fans continue to revisit the holiday classic Home Alone every Christmas, keeping memories of Macaulay's youthful self alive. Six, Drew Barrymore, like Macaulay, Drew faced Hollywood's challenging grip during her early years. Her turbulent upbringing, marked by sorrowful events, saw her big screen debut at age seven in E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Her path took an unconventional turn, landing her a role in a dog food commercial at the age of 11 months due to her dynasty birth. At just seven, she was already a movie star, struggling with a drinking issue at age 11 and a drug problem the following year. Drew's journey took a darker turn. At 13, she faced a critical moment when her mother rushed her to the hospital after she tried to hurt herself. Her parents' separation at age nine added to the complexities of her early life. Studio 54 shaped Drew's teenage years, introducing her to the party scene and narcotics. By age 12, she was embracing a lifestyle that profoundly impacted her. By the age of 13, she found herself enrolled in an 18-month rehabilitation program to address her drug and alcohol addiction. Despite overcoming these challenges at 14, she decided to emancipate from her parents, needing to carve her path formally. Although her acting career faced a setback at 15 with struggles to secure roles, she persisted. In her memoir, Wildflower, Drew reflects on her journey, revealing that she had to clean bathrooms to put food on her table during a challenging period. Following her time in treatment, she was on the road to recovery, but a relapse occurred when her third marriage fell apart. Throughout her struggles, her friend Cameron Diaz provided unwavering support. Today, having overcome the addiction that colored her early years, Drew is thriving. Last but not the least, number seven, you marry Kate and Ashley Olsen. Far from the fame of Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen lies a distant memory of their pre-fame days. The fraternal twins hit the jackpot at just nine months old when they accidentally landed the role of Michelle Tanner on Full House. As they quickly ascended to become Hollywood's youngest executive producers, their combined net worth reached an estimated 500 million. However, one half of the duo Mary Kate garnered attention, not just for her acting prowess. Struggling with self-perception, she delved into drinking, smoking, and other vices, reaching a point where anorexic behaviors took over. Refusing to acknowledge her addiction, she severed ties with her family. Mary Kate developed a penchant for drugs, marijuana, cocaine, and partying during high school. Act Security even witnessed her engaging in these activities, sparking a media frenzy. And the public spectacle peaked when Mary Kate's casual boyfriend, Heath Ledger, was found dead due to a drug overdose. Mary Kate was called first by the masseuse who found the actor's body. A tabloid speculated on her role in the actor's demise. Uh, subsequently, she underwent a six-week regimen in rehab to address anorexia with rumors suggesting treatment for drug addiction. Fortunately, she received help and is currently sober. So that's all for today, everyone. Tell us which celebrity name caught you off guard. Share your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, subscribe and ring the notification bell for more intriguing content. Stay curious and see you soon.